does System TV stand for? Well, System TV stands for Systems Biology Analysis of uh, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So essentially what we want to understand in a kind of global way is uh, how this bacterium uh, works, operates and infects uh, human cells and try to find the uh, uh, possible therapies for it. And who are the partners involved in this project? Well, we have partners from all over Europe essentially covering a whole range of disciplines that is the hallmark of systems biology. So we have people from collecting all the data very detailed level like enzymatic reactions, people collecting data on mixed levels so on the transcripts, on the proteins, and then uh, people integrating the data and finally people modeling and this is the final part which is in biology. You should, you should not only collect data, you should be able to make a model that can predict things. Tuberculosis, can you tell us a little bit more about this disease? Okay. So tuberculosis was very familiar to Europeans in the past, so many artists died of tuberculosis, Chopin, Keats, and it was characteristically they would uh, cough a lot, they would cough blood, and that's because their lungs, lungs had been damaged. And the lungs are damaged by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which invades the immune system and eventually destroys the lung. And then it's passed on, when they cough, they pass on the infection to other people. So is this still a threat today? Tuberculosis was largely controlled in industrialized countries after the Second World War, but it's never been controlled in developing countries. So the developing world, TB still is one of the biggest killers, biggest tolls in human health. So together with HIV, AIDS and malaria, TB is one of the big three killers. And about two million people will die from it. Are there any available treatments? We've got quite an effective treatment. The problem with the treatment is that it takes a long time, so you have to take multiple drugs uh, every day for a period of at least six months. So although we've got a treatment, it's a very expensive treatment, it's a very difficult, it's very expensive to deliver in, in terms of human logistics, uh, and that's, that's a real problem. It's come back over the last 10-15 years, and a particular cause of concern there is that it's come back in a drug-resistant form, and really it's, it's an urgent need then to try and develop some new drugs that we can use to treat these drug resistant form of disease. And how can we develop these new, more effective drugs? Well, I think that's where the system TV comes in. What we need to understand is how the organism works as a whole. We can't develop drugs just by taking pieces in isolation. We need to understand the whole biology of the, of the intact organism. And that's really where we need these tools of system biology. Professor Martis Dos Santos. Experimental data and computers, what will come out of this marriage? Well, we hope that a lot of uh, good things will come out because uh, we do measure many different types of uh, uh, data, all the genes, transcripts, proteins, uh, lipids. So in fact, what we are doing in this project is to uh, produce and analyze all the parts of this bacterium, but there is no way of knowing how we put them together to, ge to generate the real bacterium. So we need computers that help us in putting all this information together and analyze it and see, and see the interactions coming out. We are doing all possible experimental approaches together with informatics and integration in modeling. And I think this is what has not been 